The Dansby Swanson saga is over, and for the second straight year, Braves fans are left watching a fan favorite leave Atlanta. Welcome into BPTV, Corey McCartney with you, and Dansby Swanson headed to the Cubs on a seven-year, $177 million deal where a player that turned into a key figure and a leader in Atlanta will look to be at the center of a rebuild on Chicago's north side. The Braves were said to have offered a six-year deal with an average annual value of 16 to $17 million, but this shortstop market changed everything. No, Swanson didn't get an 11-year deal like the Phillies gave Trey Turner or the Padres awarded Xander Bogarts or a 13-year pack like the Giants gave Carlos Correa, but it was clear that if Swanson was going to stick in Atlanta, he was going to leave some money on the table. And coming off a career year in which he had 116 weighted run creative plus and a 6.4 fan graph four, along with winning his first gold glove and becoming a first-time All-Star, that just wasn't in the cards. Projected to get a six-year, $140 million deal per fan graphs, which is what Javier Baez got from the Tigers and Trevor Story got from the Red Sox a year ago, Swanson went well above those. Now, there's the subplot that the newlywed is joining his new wife, Mallory, who plays for the National Women's Soccer League Chicago Red Stars. But that warm, fuzzy storyline isn't going to appease Braves fans who are now less than a year removed from watching Freddie Freeman wind up with the Dodgers. So now what? The night of the Sean Murphy deal, general manager Alex Anthopoulos said he wasn't ready to name an opening day shortstop, noting there were still players on the market, obviously Swanson, that could change things. Maybe there's still a name out there that winds up with the Braves, including Elvis Andrews, who would make a lot of sense as a veteran who has a past relationship with infield guru Ron Washington. But as it stands, Anthopoulos said Washington has raved about the work of Vaughn Grissom, who obviously has yet to play at shortstop at the big league level. Grissom's 77 mile per hour average throw from second last year was 56 at the position. Move that to short and he's next to last among all shortstops. But Grissom could be that opening day option, or it could be Orlando Arcia or a veteran on the market, or maybe this pushes the Braves into an aggressive trade. But whatever happens, this was the domino that it felt like the Braves needed to fall in order to figure out what comes next. Grissom and fellow rookie Michael Harris II affectionately referred to Swanson as the sheriff within the Braves clubhouse, really underlined the growth of the player who debuted at Turner Field in 2016 and grew into a key cog on a team that won five straight division titles and, of course, a World Series. But that run is over, and for Braves fans that just lived through this last year, get ready to rehash a lot of those same old feelings Stay with us all winter long here on BPTV, so subscribe, turn on notifications, and tell a friend to help this thing grow. Also, don't forget you can find me and Grant McCauley on From the Diamond, available wherever you find your podcasts. Until next time, I'm Corey McCartney, and we'll see you soon, Braves country.